say it as we used to. My daddy has to go away, but he'll return most any day. Any moment I may see my daddy coming back to me. My daddy has to go away, but he'll return most any day. Any. <laughs> such good soldiers as we thought. Oh, yes, we are. I can do it now. My daddy has to go away. But he'll return most any day. Any moment I may see my daddy coming back to me. of a war. You'll be the enemy, and you'll be my trusty lance. Now, ready? Aim! Fire! Oh. Ouch! I guess we'll have to call in reserves. and hi. Good morning. Mrs. Saab speaks Hindustani. I've lived in India all my life. You lot, Bob Sertai. Ah, Sabdunya se achai. Mrs. Saab is going to live in England now? Only until my father gets through making the boards behave. Mrs. Saab is then a soldier. Yes. My father's a captain, Captain Crew. I'm Sarah. What is your name? I am Randas, servant to the Honorable Lord Wickham and to her ladyship, Rani. Randas! Randas! Yes, sir. Why the deuce are you dawdling here? Finish with that burden and get on with your work. Good morning. How do you do? I'll be here at the window most every morning in case you want to talk about India. Good morning, Sarah. Oh, good morning. Ready for breakfast, dear? Well, I'm trying to be, but I don't seem to be very good at these buttons. My thumb gets lost in the holes. Yeah, let me help you. Buttons are a bother, aren't they? I never had a button thingy before, but I'll learn. I'm sure you will. Here, put your shoe up. Come in. Good morning, Becky. Good morning. Is the young lady any boots to put on? Well, only the pair I wore yesterday. I'll get them. I'll get them, miss. Oh, I beg your pardon, miss. Are you hurt? No, miss. You mustn't be up on me, miss. Just hold out your arms and I'll pile them on. Oh, Lord, miss. If Miss Minton was 
us to see? You think you can hold two more? Yes, miss. There we are. Are you all right? Do you take care of all those? Yes, miss. And she does them beautifully. Ah, oh, thanks, you, miss. Thank you for doing my shoes. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Bye, Becky. Good boy. Bye. Well, perhaps this isn't going to be such a bad school after all with you and Becky here. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll have to hurry, dear. Miss Minchin doesn't like anyone to be late. Tell me, Miss Rose, do you think Miss Minchin could be as cross as she looks? What will I have to do today? Well, after breakfast, you'll have a class in arithmetic. Arithmetic? Then English, then French, then one in elocution and deportment, history and geography. Phew! I'm going to be a busy person, aren't I? <laughs> When do I get to ride my pony? Later this afternoon, about four o'clock. Oh. Children, our new pupil, Sarah Crew, will be down presently. As you've seen, Captain Crew is a very delightful man, and their family is most distinguished. I shall expect you to treat her accordingly. Now, you may take your places. Good morning. Ah, oh, good morning, Sarah. Good morning. I'm so happy you feel like joining us this morning. Did you sleep well? No, I didn't, thank you. <laughs> Come, dear. Lavinia, you and Jesse will move down one place. Sarah will be seated at my right after this. Why, Miss Mitchin, this has always been my place. Lavinia? For this food and all the bountiful gifts bestowed upon us, we are duly grateful and do now give thanks. Why are you putting salt on your plate, dear? Just in case you should ask me to have one of your eggs. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Jeffrey, will I saddle the pony for the wee lassie? I think not, Sandy. We best use the mare for her first few lessons. Very good, sir. Come on, lad. Hello there. Hello, Jeffrey. What luck. The old girl allowed you to come out. Sarah, this is Mr. Jeffrey Hamilton. Little Miss Cruz, our new pupil. How do you do? <laughs> How do you do? I believe I'm to teach you to ride. Teach me? And that but... means two bob a day extra for me. Oh. Is two bob a great deal of money? <laughs> Value is a comparative. In my present state, it's a fortune. Well, in that case, I guess I better be taught. <laughs> <laughs> Is my pony ready? I think we'd best start you out on something a little tamer, huh? Oh. Then hadn't I better explain things to my pony? He might feel hurt. Right you are. Ponies are very sensitive creatures. Explain the whole thing to him thoroughly. He's right there by the arch. It, uh, it may take me some time. That's quite all right. We'll wait here in the tack room. All right. Oh, General. <laughs> Are you glad to see me? <laughs> well, Mr. Jeffrey's going to give me something tamer than you. I'm afraid it isn't going to be much of a ride. 
Rose, something's wrong. What is it? Miss Manchin's taking away my Thursday afternoons. But why? We must have been seen together. Well, does that mean that I can never see you alone again? Of course not, darling. No matter what Miss Manchin says, we'll find a way. Well, I can't understand the woman. What is she afraid of? Why shouldn't we see one another? Gossip, I suppose. She only lives for that school and her ideas of propriety and snobbishness. Fiddlesticks. She's afraid of losing an excellent teacher whom she gets for nothing. I warn Stanford. I'll have a talk with her myself. Oh, no, darling. You mustn't do that. She don't want to discharge us both. She may not have the chance if things continue to pop in South Africa. You mean you might go? Wouldn't you want me to if they called for volunteers? Of course, darling. You'd have to. Oh, Jeffrey. There's nothing to worry about now, dear. This poor rumpus will never get that serious. See, my child, we shall see. If she don't hear from my father ever so often, her eyes get that sad. It hurts me to look on them. Have no fear, little one. There's a letter for her this time. Oh, I like that, sir. Oh, you, 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 oh, you